Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether the following series converges or diverges. As we have, so it seems, an exponential function with base 8, 8 to the n squared, and also an n to the n, we could use here the ratio or the root test. In this video, we will be using the root test. As an exercise, feel free to tackle the problem with the ratio test. So if you recall, in the root test, we consider the limit as n tends to infinity of a n, an absolute value raised to the power 1 over n. Well, as a n is clearly positive for all n, we can drop the absolute value. Now we can replace a n by 8 to the n squared over n to the n, all raised to the power of 1 over n. Well, we have a power of a quotient, we can apply the exponent to both the numerator and denominator. In both cases, we are double exponentiating, so we raise 8 to the power n squared, then to the power 1 over n, in which case we multiply the exponents. n squared times 1 over n is simply n, so we're left with 8 to the n over well, n to the n raised to the power 1 over n, multiplying the exponents, n times 1 over n is 1, and we're left with n. What we now have is a non-trivial limit, right? As n tends to infinity, 8 to the n tends to infinity, and n clearly tends to infinity. So we have a non-trivial case, infinity over infinity. But we can think of using L'Hopital's rule. The one thing I'll be picky about is to use L'Hopital's really want to differentiate the numerator and denominator, but here we're using n as a discrete variable. So n equals 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So I'll simply, before using L'Hopital's rule, I'll replace the discrete variable n by the continuous variable x. So 8 to the x over x. Again, we have an infinity over infinity case, and now we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So above the equality, I'll write LH to be explicit that going from here to here, I am applying L'Hopital's rule. We are still letting x tend to positive infinity, and if you recall, L'Hopital's rule says to replace the numerator by its derivative, the denominator by its derivative. So the derivative of a to the x, a to the x being an exponential function, gives us a to the x ln of 8 all over the derivative of x, which is simply 1. And the limit, as we'll see, becomes trivial, because we're left with a to the x ln of 8. ln of 8 is some positive real number, and as x tends to infinity, a to the x tends to infinity. So the limit is infinite. Well, if the limit is infinite, it's clearly larger than 1. And if you recall, the root test says that if the limit is n tends to infinity, of the nth root of a n in absolute value is strictly larger than 1, then the corresponding series, the series of a n from some point on to infinity, diverges. And of course, diverges by the root test. And that's it.